Did you know that there are people out there making money with TripAdvisor? Yes, it's possible. I heard from some of my friends. I couldn't believe, but it's possible. That's because they've got affiliate program and a really good one. Minimum 50% commission. Now, do not get me wrong. This is not the commission, for example, for a $200 hotel stay. This is the commission that they get because here's what happens. You know how basic affiliate marketing works. You just bring the traffic to the company and of course they give you the commission. But in this case, TripAdvisor is also doing affiliate marketing. They're dealing with Expedia, Hotels.com, Booking.com, Airbnb.com, but they're way better. And the reason is simple because if you want to go over to Airbnb and do affiliate work for them, or maybe you want to go to Booking.com, well, chances are because if someone makes a cancellation of reservation or something like that, you don't get paid. But with TripAdvisor, you don't have to care for that. As you can see, no hotel booking required. All right. They just need the clicks. And they do give out an explanation for us. Your users may still be in the research and planning stages. So there's no need to push for a sale. Now, if you have any experience in affiliate marketing before, you know that this is really good for us. You still get paid when users click out to our hotel booking partners, regardless of whether or not they book. Now, you might be wondering how much you can get paid. And you can see it right here on their website. For 170 clicks sent to TripAdvisor, you can just get $60 per month. But if you just sent 6,100 clicks, well, that will net you $1,700. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not going to be get a rich quick scheme or something that you would succeed overnight. It's just not going to work like that. Maybe the most reasonable thing for starters is this, all right? Maybe you can get around four to five hundred dollars in your next like first two to three months. All right, because this will require the work. But I'm going to tell you what do you have to do. The best way is this one. All right. It's just the best way. Now, let me show you why. When people want to travel, they just go to Google. Right. And let's say that I wanted to visit Barcelona. This is what I'm going to type in the Google search bar, right? That's what I'm going to do. That's what you do. That's what all of these other people are doing because they just want to do the research where the hell they are going, right? What to see, where to eat, where to stay. And then what will happen? Well, you will get a lot of these people out there. What they're doing? Well, firstly, I'm going to tell you what they're not doing, all right? They don't care if I'm going to have a good time in Barcelona or, I don't know, Nevada. They just don't care about that, okay? They just don't care if I'm going to go eat or visit, I don't know, Sagrada Familia or go to the Statue of Liberty in New York. They just want to make money, all right? And that's what you should do. All of these blogs, all of every little thing that you see online on the internet today is somehow connected to money, all right? There is a person on the other hand, on the other end, I'm sorry, that's making money out of this, all right? And that's why they create the content. And it's not so hard. You know, with all these AI tools, you can create the content like this, like, you know, really, really easy. But there is one thing that is hard, and it's this one. It's tricky one, all right? If you're just starting out, it's really hard to battle for all of these, like, big places like Paris, London, all of that, because these bigger boys that are already there, well, they do have some kind of a monopoly, and, well, they're just older, and it's just the natural way that it should be, right? But you can battle for, like, these smaller places. I'm going to show you later what I think when I say that. And on top of it, what you can do is you can just get yourself educated, you know, because this can give you the money. You can invest time and effort in order to educate yourself, to do the research of what needs to be done in order to compete with SEO. Of course, you can always pay to someone on Fiverr to do that for you. These people will not rip you off, but my suggestion is that you just learn a few things about it. You can use like the platforms like Google Trends. It's a really good one. You just search for the keywords based like on the country where you live or where you just want to go and promote these places and what you basically have to do. Well, just what all of these other people are doing. Create yourself a blog first. And on top of it, I would add YouTube. I'm going to show you why. And then just be consistent with it. All right. Consistency and patience. Though those are the things like fundamentals. Let me just show you what these other people are doing. I'm just going to click on this one. I actually checked it before. So you can see 
the 49 best attractions and places to visit in Barcelona, blah, blah, blah. This is just generic information. Even ChatGPT could give you this. But what is important is that you put a lot of pictures and you put a lot of links. As you can see, recommended Barcelona's best Airbnbs and the best hotels in Barcelona. If I click on it, I will be redirected there in order to make myself a reservation. And guess what happens? The owner of the blog gets paid for it. And on top of it, you can subscribe to the newsletter. They've got your email. They can sell your email to some lead generation companies, or they can just give you, send you a lot of emails to just bring you back to the website, right? That's how it works. They can get money also from Google ads, depends on how the traffic is on their website, right? But when I mentioned YouTube, this is really, really good because if you can't combine both of these strategies, it's a really good thing. As you can see, this is called like travel by three girls. And I really doubt that's even one girl inside of this, but you can see some of these popular videos. They're not like hard videos to make. Actually, if you just take a look at these videos, it's just pictures. All right. So what they do, they just take the pictures from these hotels, whatever. They just ask for permission or whatever, and they just make a slideshow. All right. They don't even have to create the video. They just have to create the slideshow and they do get many views. Have a look at this. 49K views, 36K views, 31K views, 31 again. And you might think it's too low. Well, it's not. Conversion rate is really perfect because if you get only 10%, well, it's totally enough for you. And they get money from YouTube as well. It's not a lot, but this will change, of course. Depends on how many views. But that's another source of traffic for you. And you leave the traffic to your affiliate links. And people don't have to book the place. All right? And this is good as well. You've got 14-day referral window. So this is like crazy you know if you don't know what this means well when people click on your link they have 14 days to make an action all right so 14 days they're tracked like connected to you that's called a cookie you know i'm not gonna overcomplicate this but 14 days you've got that period of time because as they say people are just planning the trip you know they don't have to make decisions right away so 14 days is the referral window that you've got in order to just make yourself more secure and you've got this beautiful commission so whatever they earn you get 50 percent of that and you can just make yourself do some math based on this all right so what you have to do get started sign up on this one i don't have to explain this to you just like basic information about yourself blah 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 and then go and make yourself a blog you can reuse like wordpress you don't have to use wordpress i'm not like promoting them you can use whatever you want but this is like the most popular choice and then we come to the easiest part why do i say that this is the easiest part well ai tools and i do recommend this one because this one can connect to the internet chat gpt cannot do that Chat GPT is limited to 2021, if I'm not mistaken. This one can give you the information which is actual. So, for example, I'm just going to type what to visit in Barcelona. I'm just going to make that prompt. And, of course, I'm going to get, like, the answer. And what else you are going to get? You are going to get few websites where it went to do the research. All right, so you can just click on any one of these and you can now double check the information or you can just get some more content for your blog. And remember, it doesn't have to be like great content where people will just fall in love with the city that you're promoting. No, it doesn't have to be. Generic information, what to visit, everybody knows that. You just have to be persistent and you have to put the content out each day at least, all right? There's a lot of big boys out there. You got to compete with them. So consistency and the quantity is going to matter. All right. So that's going to be really, really helpful to you. But it's not hard. All right. It requires work just like anything else. Do not expect this to be like overnight success. It's not going to be. You have to work for it. But you've got a beautiful place. You've got TripAdvisor to take care of you. All right. And I do recommend if you're just starting out, Go like these girls and then go with the locations. Like, as you can see, I cannot even pronounce this one. I'm going to break my tongue if I just try. But as you can see, Darjeeling, Sasangir. And all you got to do is to head over to TripAdvisor web website, search for these hotels, get the pictures, create the content. All right, you get the picture. So if you like to do this one, if you have stomach for it, if you have some passion for it, if you just want to make money, go and do it.
Wish you good luck.